before I say anything, make sure you see your specialist because this can get very tricky. There's so many causes for this thing. And what I'm, I'm saying so many, but there is a variation of causes and you have to treat each one differently. But here's a few general things that I can give you that's going to help you out tremendously. German chamomile tea is first on my list and you can drink this as freely as possible. Here's why. Let's talk about peristalsis. So there's these contractions that happen along the line of the esophagus all the way to the stomach, right? That helps with digestion, that helps with regulation, and that helps with control. Now, in the context of the esophagus, the gullet, whatever term you want to use, this is why this is so important. This particular motion or contraction helps propel the food and or liquids down into the stomach. People that have a lot of um, acid reflux and things of that nature, the muscles are very weak. The contractions are very weak. So that process is either hindered or highly damaged. If the contents within the esophagus are not controlled properly, you will run into this problem. And this is what German chamomile helps with. Next, we have to go into gastric emptying. This is when the stomach starts to release its contents into the small intestines. This is for digestion and absorption to begin. Well, let me not say uh, begin, it further on happens. So German chamomile tea accelerates the process because if you weren't drinking it and you have reflux, obviously it's stagnated, obviously there's an imbalance, there's something that's going on that's stopping this flow from naturally occurring properly. The next herb is slippery elm powder. Don't get the capsule, don't get the tea, get the powder. Put it in your water, stir it up, let it form itself and drink it. You want to coat the esophagus all the way down. It creates a long lasting antacid barrier. You need a barrier. And all the mucosa that you're gonna need from your gullet, esophagus, X, Y, and Z, it protects that. So now all the lesions that form through the acidity and all of the stuff that's going on, it helps with the healing process. It protects the healing process. And you can also take this freely throughout the day. So just make sure that you balance all of this with a very, very good diet. As you already know, they probably already told you, stay away from the spicy food, stay away from all the high levels of salt, X, Y, and Z. Oh, and most importantly, I don't know why a lot of a lot of y'all do this. Well, a lot of people that have reflux do this. Please stay away from alcohol. It's like y'all eat right, but y'all still drink. That's backwards. Don't do that. And it wouldn't be right if I didn't end this video without a scripture. Proverbs 25 and 18 states, like a city whose walls are broken through is a person who lacks self-control. Sometimes this is not an easy process, but guess what? Obedience is better than sacrifice and discipline gets you a long way. Be consistent. Be soft on yourself and be reasonable, but be consistent. I hope this helped you out, friend. God bless.